Hello everyone and in this video we are gonna look into a lot of things okay so we will be looking to the forex pairs um, some of the major forex pairs first and then we will do the crypto analysis and overall picture and again after that we will be looking into the commodity section where we will be really interested to see what is the gold and the net gas and silver and another commodities are doing and after that we, we can just have a look into the indices like nasdaq is there ftsc uk100 is there and the s&p 500 obviously the spider um is there that is really relevant at this time so let's have a look uh, let's start it from the forex space and the first thing uh, i'm really interested in yeah let's let's have a look in this order that the most people are uh, really look, looking into the, that is one of the major fairs uh, fair in the forex market is the euro usd and that's what the people are really interested to trade in and i will trade in 30 minutes in the euro us dollar and uh, the thing uh, which i felt like the working uh, is really working is the actual uh, support and resistances in, in this euro us dollars and if you could use this uh, Dixie, uh, I mean this euro dollar uh, in with a combination of Dixie then it gives a more higher win rate, much more higher win rate um, exactly so here you can see this was uh, support zone here and it got mitigator into this okay uh, this consolidation and there was a pattern called inverse head and shoulder you can see that um, yeah, I just mistakenly taken this highlight tool and I, I was going to get this fresh tool. So it was an inverse head and shoulder pattern and we got its breakout and we retested that. Um, and if you, you could have been like, you know, making an entry from here and setting a stop below this shoulder and this was a terribly volatile move and uh, there, there could be some probability to get your stop losses getting hit if you are trading in a wrong platform, like, you know, platform where you have a huge uh, big spread um, and uh, there is a, there is no liquidity enough to actually support your positions so then your stop loss would be getting hit um, but by the way you got this thing in this area as a support and it tested here once okay I mean it's already tested and if the price is coming back in this area again once again and it will be really weak at uh, that point so um, right now it is testing this area as a resistance and the last time it took this area as a support. Okay. So, and uh, we have to do the analysis with the volume and we, we should be, oh, sorry, um, just gonna mess it up with that. <laughs> yeah, it's just uh, mistakenly. Um, okay, here. Have a look at this. Oh, it's okay. So this is the VH and this is the VL and this is the POC, right? We are trading above the value right now. And uh, the POC is in the support, it's holding really well. Is there anything which we can get? Uh, right now, at this moment, uh, it is followed by this order block, right? And I'm not seeing any sort of a, a trade opportunity in this thing because it's quite a neutral and momentum. There is no momentum in this thing, okay? Because once if it's break this area, then the downward momentum starts. And I assume that the price of the euro dollar can get into this area um, for support or uh, yeah i mean this area could be nice um so until then if it's still above this area then i'm not seeing any such momentum uh, so uh, i think it's neural and uh, not not big not a big trade opportunity right and this is the update on euro dollar not a good pair right now yeah, this is current situation right and uh, if you guys are looking at some interesting pairs like 
uh, yeah, I mean, USD CAC, USD CHF, um, and USD CHF, uh, not GBP CAR is a good thing. GBP JPY is one of the interesting things which I will try. Okay, so this is uh, one of the thing which I do uh, mostly trade, uh, you know, sometimes. Okay, it's a very nice one, in my opinion. It has been, you know, really much respecting the levels. So here I'm sharing it purely based on the experience that we are having on this. So it just broke this support. Right now it's breaking down. So I personally believe that this thing has to get to here. This is the next support level. Although it's, it's having big, uh, yeah, it's having, this is a volume node, not the law of that. This is next volume. So this is the next take profit area if you're uh, short. The final TP will be here. And I don't think that it's gonna hold that too. Because it's most probably uh, first move to the this area. It's the most uh, probable case scenario. Uh, any other pairs like Euro Cat is one of the pair that I'm looking at right now. That this uh, is the same as that euro 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 dollar and the invalidation of this uh, idea could be here. So once it's get above that area, then it's more probably going to continue up. Otherwise, it's still uh, you know don't sell looking good. It's forming kind of pattern of the double double bottom here. So. Um, yeah, even though it's make a double bottom, it's, it's a resistance above. So once it's getting into the resistance, it was rejecting back into this area. And it gets here first, and again after that, it's in this area. So on a 30 minute basis. It's a high momentum picking up right. Let's see what that is. Or JPY. It's another pair that I like to trade. And is there any trading opportunity, right? This is the first support. And this is at the support zone. Right? Um, so it's testing a lot of time, right? This is the value area now. Tap it and come back up. It has some inefficiency to get third for any further move down. So, right now I'm not going to trade it long or I'm going to be short. Uh, what I'm going to do is it's waiting. This thing breaks and this is a nice short opportunity, right? Um, otherwise, I'm just sitting at hand. Seem good. You know, Australian dollar. Yeah, that's what we just charter. Yeah, this is that in, in, in this uh, forex session. And uh, what about the Bitcoin? And the yeah, the, when we talk about the BTC, the chart which I use is this one, point based chart. And uh, I do look uh, for up. Uh, still for the BTC, right? Because it's what seems like a more probable case scenario for me. And there's 100, it's more probably statistically up. And gold, and I know there is have a bunch of shorts coming in to the gold, but it's truly ready for a terrific move up uh, this case. Up, but yeah, a continuation of the trend is really should go above it. Yeah, by liquidating all the shorts. 
Okay, um, that's the case uh, in the gold. And any other questions, any doubts? Uh, yeah, Dixie. Uh, when, when we talk about the Dixie and the thing, which I'm looking for, the Dixie is perfectly at this area. Uh, this, this area is a problem case area for Dixie. So, right, um, any doubts? Let me know, guys. Okay, so that. Um, so I have been getting a lot of questions. Uh, what do I trade? And okay, so I will be explaining all that stuff in upcoming videos.